I don't own this house, I don't have any money invested, and I'm making money on Airbnb. How am I doing it? It's called co-hosting. I'm gonna show you how I got this deal, how I formulated it, and how you can do it too, right here on the Fearless Investor YouTube channel. All right guys, so we're heading to central Fresno. This is a three bedroom, two bath in the heart of Fresno. And uh, I wanna talk about how I found this deal. So this was a person who literally like right before COVID, I wanna say it was January, February of 2020, reached out to me. She had heard me on a podcast and um, she was like, hey, I didn't realize you're in Fresno. She reached out to me and said, how can you help me turn some of my rentals into short-term rentals? I don't wanna be a long-term landlord anymore. And I said, yeah, come on over. And so we met in person. I showed her some of the ins and outs of Airbnb. She was all excited and then COVID happened. Well, this is a lesson for you guys. Stay in front of your clients, stay in front of your customers, whether that is calling, texting, uh, emails, or just continuing to put out great content that they're seeing. Uh, by doing that, I kept in front of her. And so when COVID kind of settled down and this long-term lease that she had with this tenant was coming to an end, she called me and this is a year later and she said hey Kyle what do you think I could make on this property she gave me the address and I went and analyzed the deal so the very first thing that I do after I get the call from this homeowner is I run to my desktop and I evaluate the property so this is my Airbnb profit deal analyzer or calculator whatever you want to call it you can get it at fearlesskyle.com right there on the home page it's absolutely free but I use this every single day so that I can show property owners what they can make with my management fee if you look down here here, we're getting $1,181.50. That's what she's getting after all my expenses. And I'm earning $880 in a property that I have $0 invested in. Guys, presentation is everything. If you don't have a profit calculator or a deal analyzer and you're just talking numbers to a homeowner, it doesn't resonate with them, they don't see it. They need to actually see the numbers that they're going to make. So when I made this, my conversations 10 x in terms of how much value I was providing to the homeowner because they could see that they were gonna be making X amount of dollars and here's X amount that I'm gonna pay for rent and here's X amount that I'm gonna make every single month. So people ask me all the time, how do I get started in Airbnb? What's the easiest way? And the way I wanna just really encourage you to think about is building a resume on Airbnb. Let's take the Robert Kiyosaki mindset, which is do work for free or for very little in order to gain the experience and to really put those things as badges on your, I hate to use the word resume just because that feels like a nine to five job, but you know, just in this case, we're gonna talk about a resume of what you can do for other landlords, what you can do for other homeowners. And so the way I got started was doing it as a room out of my house and I built up all these reviews and I built up super host status. So that's a really easy way to do it. Another really easy way that you can do it is by partnering with someone and asking, hey, can I co-host with you? And in return, I will respond to your guests. I will do a lot of the work and I'm gonna do it for free because I wanna be able to say to a homeowner or to a person that is a long-term landlord, hey, here's my experience with Airbnb, here's my resume on Airbnb, and you were able to do the deal, you were able to joint venture with someone who was actually doing it, uh, they don't need to know that you own the house or that it was one that you managed, they just need to see that you have the experience. So it's time to actually look at the house and evaluate this thing in person, eye to eye. The very first thing I'm looking at is the neighborhood and the neighbors. Are the houses nice? Are they, at least the lawns kept up? Do I feel like if I walk down the street at night that I'm gonna be safe? And this one looking around, pretty good. All right, come on in and check this thing out. So first of all, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? You're crazy. Go ahead, subscribe, like this video, comment. I wanna know what you learned from it. But I'm gonna take you through a quick tour of this house. It's a three bedroom, two bath, about 1,700 square feet. So what am I looking for when I get into this house? I'm looking for ways to continuously add value, put more heads in beds, which means more nightly income. So we got this nice big living area right as soon as we walk in. We're gonna have a nice couch right here. Um, we're probably going to do a futon or a sofa sleeper. And these are all the things I'm looking at right now. Uh, taking you back, like we're, we're installing today. We're gonna have our, our interior designer come in and show you really what she's going to do. But these are all the things that I'm thinking of in my head. And I wanna see if my interior designer is gonna match up with it. But I envision a sleeper sofa, maybe another sectional right here. 
Our dining area is going to be right here, um, possibly because we've got another second dining area over there. So maybe this is where a desk goes or, you know, we, we love to have desks in all of our Airbnbs because it's a great way to attract business people. So I can see a desk going here instead and then maybe the dining table over there or maybe multiple dining tables because again, if we're going to say, hey, we can host 10, 12, 14 people, we need to have at least enough dining space for those 10 to 12 to 14 people. Again, I'm just kind of looking at like, am I gonna get that $131 per night like what I thought it was when I sent the evaluation over to the owner? So walking through the hallway here, we've got these double doors. The funky thing about this is we don't usually see double doors going into a sleep a room where you sleep and it's very obvious that this did not used to be a bedroom because if you open up this door that's the garage so it's not ideal but it's not going to deter me away from um, not running this as an airbnb or not turning this into a bedroom we're going to keep it as a bedroom we're going to have probably I can see bunk beds going in here or maybe just one queen bed wedged up against the corner. Uh, again, interior designer is gonna tell me what we're gonna do there. We are gonna get some new doors, upgrade the place a little bit, and this is a budget that I go over with the owner. I'm telling her, hey, as I walk through this house, I'm not a huge fan of some of the light fixtures. The doors look a little outdated. I love the floors, but if we can get some new doors or we can at least touch them up with paint, it'll look a little bit better. So walking through here, another thing that really is worrying me is the amount of light in this room. It's very, very dark. So if we walk in here, I feel like I need to have the window open in order to be able to see in here. So my suggestion to the owner is going to be to replace that light right there. Um, closets are a good size, I like that. As we walk over to this spot right here, I'm always looking for storage as well. So actually, if we back up for a second, I love that we have a lot of storage in the closets throughout the house. So look at that, we've got one, two, three hallway closets that we can store things in. Great looking bathroom here, love this bathroom. Um, here's a couple of the things about bathrooms that I'm looking for is the shower, nicely updated, is it at least clean. Um, the showers, the bathrooms, the kitchens are gonna get us the most eye-popping parts of the house that will get us those higher rates on Airbnb. So this one should be able to get us a nice high rate. Now here's something I don't like that I see, and we didn't see this the first time, but there's a lot of chip paint right here. So we're going to have to unfortunately recommend to the owner that we get this fixed because that's not okay. I'm, I'm gonna come in here as a guest, and I'm gonna see all this chip paint, and I'm gonna think what else is wrong with this house? So we gotta get that touched up right away as well. Coming down to the master, what I'm seeing here is if we wanted to, big enough room, we could have a king. Again, we have a really wonderful shower here in the master walk-in shower, which I love. Um, so this is gonna add a lot of value as well because those walk-in showers, just nicely updated, nice bathroom should get us a lot more per night. So I just walked you through what seems like the entire house, right? Three bedrooms and two baths. But what's this guy over here? We got another door. I wonder what could be behind door number four. Check it out. It's another possible bedroom. Holy cow. So we just went from a three bedroom, two bath to possibly a four bedroom, two bath. And now in my mind, I'm seeing another queen bed and I'm seeing maybe a little like armoire that we can put up where we can say, hey, this is another bedroom. And now we can get maybe instead of 131 a night, 150 a night, 160, 170 a night. This just completely changed the whole scope. So it's obviously super exciting that we just found out about that fourth bedroom, but guys, come check this out. Pretty nice backyard. We can have like a little fire pit here, but that's not what I'm excited about. This is what I'm excited about. So check this thing out. It is a shed that is meant for storage for right now. It's locked, but what we can do is we can look through the window here and you'll see that this thing is big enough for an extra studio. What we could do here is we could put about probably $20,000 into this with our contractors, maybe 25,000 and turn it into a one bedroom, one, well not a one bedroom, one bath, but just a studio and add another unit on this property that we can rent out 
Now we're adding an extra 50, maybe even 60 to $65 a night with this one right here. How cool is that? Yeah, I just wanna run through a few things really quick. Um, so this right here, do you know, do you know what that is? It's, it's no idea, but let me uh, screenshot that real fast and then yeah. set it to tie. Um, do you know which light switch turns this one on? Is, is it this one right here? Yeah, it should be that one. Okay, it's not turning on, so it might just be a bulb, uh, but we'll, okay. we'll get that checked out. Are you open to us turning those into fans? A fan? Yeah. A fan, Fa fan with, uh, with a light? Guys, this is the wonderful and amazing Katie Nisbet on Instagram. She's just Katie Nisbet, K-A-T-I-E-N-I-S-B-E-T-T. -T. And she is the most amazing interior designer in all of California, maybe even the world. She's on HGTV. <laughs> She's kind of a big deal. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Yeah, so, Katie, let, let's talk about this living room first. So, first of all, I, I'm just wondering, do we, are we going to keep this guy here, um, can we work with this? Like, what are you seeing yeah, for this living room? Because this is already here and we don't wanna have to repaint the whole room. Let's yeah. just leave it here. We'll put okay. the console here, everything will fit. We're gonna do two sleeper sofas in here. Okay. So we'll just line them on each side. Sweet. And put two chairs there and we'll have enough space. This is a four bedroom, so we need that much seating to accommodate. Yeah, we kind of have two dining areas. What do we do here? Hmm, I think right here, We'll make this the main dining area. Okay. And then over there, we might even just add extra seating over there. Maybe okay. I just put two chairs and a game table or something like that. So the really interesting room, I'm curious of how you want to do this, is this surprise fourth bedroom. Um, how are we structuring this thing? I love this room. We're going to just add another bed in here. Okay. Um, there's not really room for a headboard like we were thinking. So right. I think I'm just going to use the window to do so just, just a bed frame okay. right here. Perfect. Style that up with books and make it more library. Okay. Mother-in-law e filling with this fireplace sure. here. Okay. All right. So this is also an interesting room. Oh, this little yeah. double door and it goes into the garage. Correct. Um, oh, we have a desk too. So I could use a desk in there or in here. Okay. Would be the other option. Yeah. What if we had the desk in here? Desk, sleeper, sleeper sofa. sofa couch. Thing, and then I could put two queens in that bed, bedroom. Is the the master? No, or? this one. Interesting. If let's, this let's one's see. big enough. Let's see what that looks like. I bet if I do, if I can measure out two queen beds right here and do one nightstand right there, how would that work? What if, you, we got a couple other projects coming up. Do you want to save another queen for a different place? Or we could do that. I'd say let's lay it out and let's Yeah. See. So. Oh yeah, I don't like those. Yeah, no, those are bad. And then. Ooh, did I we, like this. The, That's nice. The bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. I like that cabinet. So we're just doing queen in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and from a designer standpoint, even though this is, I mean, it feels like a bigger room. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -mm. It's not. I don't feel like it is. Maybe I just feel that way because the bathroom. bathrooms there. Yeah. Um, but I'll put a rug down in this room. Okay. Make it feel cozy. And, well, I really like this part of the backyard. So I almost feel like if we do a table with just like two or three chairs and then play off of this, I could put pillows here and someone can use this oh, as yeah. like dining and I like that. extra seating here. So if we play off that, we don't have to buy as many chairs for up here. That would actually be really good. Outdoor Save rug. Some money. I have yeah. a black and white outdoor rug for here. Perfect. So. Okay. So this is why having an interior designer too is really good because she's already got the team to literally get this thing done in 12 to 24 hours where I've, I've <laughs> gone down to myself. It doesn't take 12 to 24 hours. I, I mean, we literally did one in Arizona recently and it took like 10 days for Did us to right? get everything ready. Yeah. So think about this for a second. So what that you're paying an interior designer to call it an extra couple thousand dollars if you are booked for an extra eight to 14 days and making $150 per night on that, it's worth it. Plus it saves you time to go find other units. So she is a staple in our team, <laughs> never leaving. And uh, she, she helps us make more money because of it. Thank you, Katie. Aww. As expected, we're not even completed. It already looks so much better. We've been here for what, six hours, Katie and her team. So Katie, you wanna give us a quick walkthrough? Sure, come on into the living room. 
So we're still waiting on a couch to arrive that okay. will come tomorrow, but we got our silver ch swivel chairs going on. We got our 50 inch TV. We Blocks that, that, uh, that patch on the wall easily. We'll get some art up on the wall tomorrow. Um, we changed the curtains, the blackout curtains. Um, and then over here in the dining room, we got a table set up. We're gonna switch the lighting tomorrow and kind of modernize it a little and make it That's more. That's gonna look really good. Dining room. Yeah. And then we added some open shelving over here and just kind of left this clean so who, whatever guest comes can just I love this. this. This is so much more inviting now. It was so blah and it had that box up there. You guys mm -hmm. took that down. Took the box down. So it, I, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it'll... Cool. And we've got a fridge now too. Hallelujah. Yes, we've got a fridge. <laughs> we need to get a table thing situated here and we'll switch this light over. So you're thinking just a little, what, two-seater, four-seater yeah. here, or? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe even just doing like a bistro table. Okay, so what you're gonna see right now is the beds are not fully made, but they will be made as of tomorrow. I really like this room. Yeah, so we switched this one up at, uh, as of today because with the door to the garage right there, so we added the sofa couch here and a desk. And we're um, gonna put um, we're, we're keeping this wall art the same, or are yeah. we, we're not putting anything on that wall? We, I need to go shop a little more tonight and okay. see what we can get right here. Awesome. So, wall art, I kind of played with it today, and then I'll do another run through of the stores tonight and see what else we could pick up. This room, I'm in the process of switching curtains out, but we added a rug in the bed and the nightstands. Um, this room still needs artwork as well. This room, we got the we need to flop the rugs around, but curtains up, and now we're just missing a chair in here. So okay. We'll do a chair little setup, and I cool. think this is cozy and nice for the master. Yeah, I love this. So. I, I wish the windows were a little bit smaller so we could move the bed a little bit more, but that's so, it'd be so funky to have the bed in front of the window, right? Yeah, I, I think we'll leave it to the side more. We just need to flip the rug around. The, the room feels brighter too even uh, just like, the window the yeah. window treatments i feel like brighten the room up oh a lot. it made such a difference absolutely cool yeah. so we ended up putting the bed in front of the window here because this is really the only spot it could go we're gonna put um a wall sconce just hanging from the wall here i love you you said it's a sconce is that what it's sconce. called a sconce. sconce. Okay, so so we'll add that in here. I think those make a big difference too. I think they're fun. They're unexpected, yeah. and yep. they're just something different. I think people like them. Are they more expensive than a regular lamp? No, that's like thirty nine dollars on Amazon. That's great. So just a little bit of time to put it into the wall and do it the right way. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Patio furniture out here. Yeah, we did a little setup out here. Taking advantage of what we've already got. Yeah. Had to buy two less this. chairs because of that, so that's cool. Yeah. So Simple, I think a, a little group could sit out here nicely and we could add more chairs if needed. I, I, like I guess it. it just depends on the reviews. Do you ever do that? Like just wait for the reviews and see what's missing? Yeah, usually we'll even ask the first few guests like, hey, is there yeah. anything that you have as some advice? You're the first couple people to stay here. So, um, but honestly, like here in Fresno, a lot of people don't spend time outside. Yeah, so, unless sure. there's a fire pit. There's just not True. really stuff to do. But these were super easy target, $30, $30. Perfect. Inexpensive, nice patio furniture. Awesome, I love it. Great job. Thank you.